will just start up. Um, you guys just walked into this room, which is a uh, man and woman embracing, almost kissing, but they're frozen in time. And some walking corpses kind of just walking around, staring and walking away. We came in from the west, right? That's right. Did we go east? Not yet. Did Kronia tell us she couldn't leave her room? When she we met her? She did not say that. Oh, okay. Wodor was there, or not yet. Mm -hmm. When we met her. Met who? Did you meet the uh, time lady? Yes, I was there. And she said that it's not that she can't leave, it's just that people don't want her to leave because of her. That's, magic. that's right. Is this that lady that uh, makes everybody age really quick? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, it, it affects like almost any, everything, I think. Like wine, like. Grip juice turns to wine, turns to being spoiled. Yeah, it's basically she just moves time like really fast forward. I'm just sure. gonna say out loud, like, maybe we should bring Kronia here if we ever get the chance. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Should probably check what's off to the east. Yeah, maybe we can bring her after we get, like, the clothes that she said wouldn't age. Oh, she, there's clothes that don't age? Um, she said the lizard something. people had something like that. Or like clothes that like within don't her rot magic away. don't rot. Yeah. Like plastics or something. Gotcha. Um, a full latex body. Like a full body latex suit. Something like that. I think um, Dornov had a plan to do something at the end of the last session. Well, I, I remember I wanted to try and move these people, yeah. but then when we got yeah. close, time just slowed the hell down and we couldn't that's, do anything. We, that's how you found out that they've been stuck there for, I think, like a thousand years, or maybe it was five thousand. Mm. Wait, time slows down when you get near it? Yes. Yep. They're stuck in some and, kind of time freezing thing, and you can't get close to them, or like part of you slows down too. Can I and, pick up a rock and just try like throw it in their direction? You you can you can find like just a little yeah, scrap of stone on the ground, rock. and you throw it, and it does like start slowing I'm down more back. and more, and it, it kind of just eventually just stays frozen in air. That's cool. And All the swan right. gave me no protection for some reason. Yeah. No, the, the, I think the swan is like preservation, not um, like protection. Yeah, I guess. Like a mini fridge. Okay, so we don't really have much choice, but... Um... East, right? East? Yeah. It's the only way we haven't gone yet. Yeah. So, let's Peeking move that through way. through the doorway, you see a pretty small room, but it's uh, carved out of the white stone floor. It is kind of a small stream of uh, some kind of red liquid that's been just streaming and flowing. Um, it's a little... I believe it's a loop, so it's kind of just a closed circuit. It stays within the room. Uh, and on it is 
a large um, swan made out of wood. So there's a there's a river that goes in a circle with a with a wooden swan on it, and it looks like blood. It is a red liquid. Is it similar to the swan that was on the cake that I took? It is very similar. I will try to draw this room. Can I drink a little bit of the water of the red thing? Oh, 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 hold on, let's not jump straight to drinking <laughs> the strange liquid. Like, come on, you're gonna taste it. Otherwise, how do you know it's whatever it is? I was gonna start by like dipping something in it. <laughs> well, my hand on it. No? How about I just try and I dip a pitten in there and see if it does anything? I, I think I he said he's going to drink it. I want, I want to see what happens when you drink it. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. Hi, you're very new. We <laughs> don't have a lot of those. Um, this, is, this is not the good idea, Clue. So, if you uh, you know bring it up to your face and even taste it, you'll find out that it is uh, some kind of red wine. Hey, it's actually tasty. It's yeah, wine. It's, it's not bad. It's not spoiled. It's That's actual wine. Yeah. Hey, um. Is it like better quality than the one we have in the wineskins? Uh, where where did you get that from? Oh, you got that from the city outside of the maze, right? Yeah, before we got into the maze. Uh, yeah, it's it's a little it's better than that. It's very good. It's actually tastier than the one I drank in the city. <laughs> Do I have any like empty flasks? Uh, <laughs> we can say you've you've got one if you want. Nice. I load it up. To my Are you uh, gonna bring to, your now? Yeah, I'll, I'll drink some of it to, to to my to my trained tongue. Is is this good alcohol? Is this good wine? Um, how how familiar is your character with with wine? Uh, I I believe I have a brewing kit on me. Ooh, okay. You have a brewing kit. I have a bre I have brewer's supplies. So yeah, this is uh, wow. it's pretty I good. Can... It's aged. It's yeah. not not bad. It's um. Probably pretty expensive, and the uh, amount of liquid that's flowing through all this uh, small little river is definitely uh, whoever did it paid quite a lot for it. Uh, we'll say it's flowing clockwise for simplicity. Mm -hmm. uh, should, do I try to give this a special name, or just uh, write it down like this read? Uh. No, unfortunately, it's not particularly special anyway. So you can just write red okay. wine. I want to replace the one in the wine skin, the one that I already have with this one. Sounds good. How deep is the river? How would you like to find out? <laughs> well, I, I have... I have some pittens and some rope. <laughs> Can I tie a pitten to the rope and try and figure out how deep it is? Uh, sure. That takes you a couple minutes, but you manage to dip it in, uh, try to mm -hmm. lean over and get close to the center of the river. Uh, at its deepest, it's probably maybe like three feet. How okay. wide? Uh, close to uh, six. Is is this one moving around? 
Yeah, the the water is kind of just flowing slowly. It's it's uh, like a lazy river. Is there any indication about how the river is moving? There is not. Huh. How big Does is this? Room have a number so that I can mark it on the wine skin. Uh, you can mark one eighty if you really want to. Okay. Um. Would anyone like to inspect the swan? Yo. Make an investigation check. I'm just busy still trying to swap the wine. <laughs> you just dump the old stuff into the river? No, no, no. I want to dump it somewhere else. Okay, okay. Okay. Like, I don't want to ruin the quality. Like, you know. Yes. Uh, this swan is definitely enchanted, um, although you don't know much about it other than it's a completely different enchantment than uh, the wooden, the little cake one that you have. Uh, it also appears that uh, it part of like the wings that uh, fold back into it look like they might open up. How big is the swan? It is um, it is pretty big. Um, it's definitely like filling most of the width of the river at like five feet and it's just its body uh, is probably four feet without including the head. Can I use my pittance rope and hammer to secure the swan in place? Uh, are you going to drill the pittance into the stone floor? Yeah, I'll bang them into the stone floor and then lasso <laughs> the swan. Sure. <laughs> uh, that might make a little w bit of noise as you drill into the stone floor. Tell me the next thing you're sure. going to do is jump on top of this one. Look, okay. The wings open. They look like they open. And Doorknob might mount the swan. Amazing. <laughs> Alright, uh, since some time has passed, as you've uh, done a couple things in this room and... Oh, made can I check room. this door in the meantime? Yes, uh, southward is going to be it is a room that kind of looks like it's been trashed. There's scraps of boxes, uh, paper spread all over the place. Uh, there's a weirdly asymmetrical chandelier on the ceiling. And to the right. Oh wait, there is there room to the right? One sec. No, no, there's not. Uh, oh, so to the so north is a closed exist? door. Oh, okay. So you can't see directly through there. Um, but in the meantime, since he took some time to mess with the wine and. Uh, He's going to make a little bit of noise. We'll do a quick encounter check. Um, and something probably will come by. Okay, um,
Uh, can you all click on your token and then make an initiative roll for us? All of us? That can't be a good sign. Yes, everybody, please. Why is my initiative so low? Hey, Juan. Or, wait. No, who, what, who, who is Juan? He's Bagor. Bagor. Bagor, pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, we'll say... I have a passive perce perception of 18. I'm always paying attention. Obviously not. <laughs> we will say just, I'm just for slow, fun like... from the south side uh, comes this dude, followed by some little friends. Whoa. Uh, how many friends? One. Two, actually. Damn it. <laughs> Did I successfully stop the swan? Uh, yes. That's the last thing you did before you heard this commotion. Okay. It seems that it's kind of just floating on top of the water. It's not, like, anchored to anything. Um, so... Oh, I... This is my fault. I didn't put the initiative tracker out before you rolled. Oh, it, it kept track of everything. Perfect. Okay. Well, I'm fast. Uh, and I need to roll initiative for them. <laughs> Slower than me. Okay, maybe not. I was going to say it's them, not it. <laughs> <laughs> and I need to... Okay. Um... So you kind of just like randomly just hear this person come up and uh, look into this crystal orb that he's got in his hand and just say attack. And these two, we'll say this guy on the left looks like pretty similar to a cannibal critic. And this thing on the right is kind of like a baboon, some kind of monkey. Or ape, I suppose. Do they look undead? Uh, does not look undead. Okay. Ovac. You hear this this man yell, attack, aggressively. Attack at us? Directed at us. Well, you, yeah, you see Bagor kind of, like, jump back from the door a little bit. Oh, uh, what's my move speed again? I think I'm 25, right? Yeah, 25. Um, hmm. <clears throat> and, like, I, I I can't jump the river because it's too big, right? Uh, it's five feet or six feet across, I think I said. Um, it's yeah. possible, but you kind of have to I'd, do I'd it have twice. to, like, roll for it, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, ba -ba -ba. So do I have something that's... It? At range, I think I do. Um, can I see them if I move up here to like right here? Um, yes, we'll say you'll have an opportunity to shoot through the archway or to Got use it. something. So then he's within 10 feet of me. So then I can channel my divinity. Okay. Yeah, I'm going I, to do... 
I hate to be that guy. How'd you get across the river? Uh, isn't there a path? Isn't there a path around like this? Or am I mistaken? This, uh... Uh, the grid will... It'll actually count feet differently if you go straight to something or if you go down. Oh, so if you just did 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, it would be like over here. Okay, I see. Uh, mm, I'm not close enough at all. Mm, okay. Okay, uh, I guess I'll just get close then. Yeah. If you so, don't want close? to do like attack or anything, you can use your action this turn to dash and move double speed, but you won't have an action. Move double speed. Uh, do I... Uh, I, I don't have any like... There's no, like, uh, they don't get any, like, opportunities and stuff like that, right? Only if you leave their attack okay. range, so it probably won't affect you. All right. So then can I run around and get, like, dashed to the doorway? And try yes, to block you the may. Doorway? Okay, you that's You won't all be able to attack, but you can end your turn there. Yeah. Show it's up. Okay. Door knock. Is he is he on the swan at this point? Uh, he did not quite make it that far. Though, so if he wants to, okay. you can kind of use the swan to leap over the the river. <laughs> my, my first question is going to be: how, Did I figure out how fast the swan was moving? Uh, it's probably, a lazy river, right? Yeah, it'd yeah. probably be like five feet every six seconds. Okay. But you've stopped it for now. So, can I just walk over the the swan to get into the middle area? It would be a, an it? easy acrobatics check. You okay. probably have to get like a five or something. Yeah, you don't have any trouble kind of keeping your balance, grabbing onto its neck just to support yourself as you leap into the center of the floor, which is no different than the outside. Okay, so I'm going to... I can dash for double movement, but take no action, right? Correct. Is that where you'll stop? Or do you want to try to leap over? <laughs> yeah, I, I had to check if I had enough movement. <laughs> Alright, this would be a little bit more difficult, but you don't have any trouble. Uh, especially with your dash moving as fast as you can. You leap across and get in a def defensive position around the door. I was going to laugh if you actually fell in the river. The only one that didn't drink would be soaked in it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I didn't mark which token is which, so let's see if I can... The right one is the 11. left one is the 8. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure which one is the monkey. Right, well, this one's blue now. Okay. Um... And we'll say blue one one this one. Okay. Um, so it kind of just runs forward and uh, mm -hmm. it kind of moves slower than you would expect uh, an ape that kind of is this thin and like you would expect agile. Mm -hmm. uh, and it kind of just like leaps 
through the doorway to try to bite at uh, Ovac. Okay. Ooh. Jeez, 20? Yeah, that's gonna... Is... Yeah, that's gonna can, can I... Can oh, I see... True. I can see him, right? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I'll say you can't see this one. Okay. But so you would be able to see the other one. I can't see the guy that just bit him? Yeah, you'll be able to see the other okay. one. Sorry. On your own. Nah, that's fine. Uh, so it's... I'm, I'm here to block damage. Teeth sink in and get around little bits of your metal armor and bite into your arm. Mm-hmm. And you throw it off. I, uh, as sense. the next one comes in to attack. So I'm down to 34. Nine does not hit. Yeah, this one... Uh, Clanks off my shield. Dornov also like shoves his shield in the door after seeing the first attack. and doesn't really have mm-hmm. a way in. Bagor. Around how many rounds is a minute? Ten. Ten? Yeah, okay. every round is six seconds. Okay. Uh, how far is this one from the door? Like, do I have to come in, or is he like on my reach? Uh, it's kind of hard to see him. You'd have an easier time. Uh, trying one of the other ones. What What do you have in mind? No, just just attacking him. Uh, yeah, I'll just say just because of the doorway foot. is like perfectly centered around the middle of the line here. Uh, kind of the wall okay. is in between you and this guy. Okay. Mm. Ovik's fat butt is in the way. <laughs> okay, so I cannot cast two <laughs> two cantrips on the same round, right? You you can. Uh, just if you cast a spell using a bonus action, your your main action has to be a cantrip. But then if both of them are cantrips, I can do it. Yeah, that's that's fine. Okay, then first I'm gonna touch Ovek's shoulder. I'm gonna and I'm gonna cast resistance. Okay. So that's gonna give you a an extra D four if you ever have to make a saving throw in the next minute. And then I'm going to try to hit the one in the middle with Produce Flame. Uh, is that a bonus action? Oh, let me see. No, it says one action. So I'm going to stop at that. Just resistance? Yes. Okay. I'm going to try to move behind Ovik to cover him. And that's it. Do I uh, fall into the river? river or is um, that... Is there a room between us, me and the river? We'll say, especially because, like, this map isn't uh, centered, that there's, like, just barely enough. But normally, like, you'd be able to walk through an ally space, but just for the purposes of the river, we'll say that, like, if Dornov wanted to, uh, nobody can enter this space while it's occupied because the river's there. So you can't move through it, but it'll work for now. Um, This... uh, this uh, unarmored uh, mage-looking guy with the crystal ball is going to get his turn now. Okay. Um, he pulls out a dagger from inside his robes. Uh... He will, yeah, he's going to try to attack, um, we'll say he'll t- attack across uh, the doorway at uh, Dornov. Uh, then I will use my uh, fighting style. Yes. Protection. So you give him disadvantage. Yep. 
Uh, unfortunately, Jesus it Christ, will still hit. Still fucking hits. <laughs> but it will not be a crit. Uh, also, the dagger happens to be cursed. Uh, can you make a wisdom saving throw for me, please, Dornoff? Uh oh, this is going to go great. Yeah. Okay, uh, we'll say for the next minute, uh, you will take double damage. Jesus. Uh, but for now, you just take the six damage from the dagger piercing. Uh, this uh, guy will all now kind of try to back up a bit. Uh, he doesn't want to be somewhere where he can be attacked by multiple people. Does that mean that we get uh, two opportunities? Uh, so yeah, one? both of you will get the opportunity to make okay. an attack. Just all it now? Yes. <laughs> oh, unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you try to like a big overhead swing on, on your Warhammer, but you kind of just end up knocking yes. some of the stonework off of the arch. Off. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, just the tight space of the door, and make it hard for Dornov. Uh, but Ovac, <laughs> you'll get your turn now. Okay. Um, which of the two minions look weaker? Uh, neither of them have taken damage. Uh, I mean, just like in general. Like, uh, one's a the... monkey, right, and the other one is a... Uh, one of them's the ape, we'll say, on the right, and the left guy looks like it kind of used to be someone from the gallery, the, uh, what are they called? Oh, used to be a, uh, a cannibal. Okay. Yes, uh, except, like, he's so much more thin and scrawny, uh, they both look equally, um, weak. Okay. Uh, then I guess I will... Do you guys want me to move? I, I kind of like just keeping the door blocked as a strategy. Well, I'm just... Who who could I hit from the, where I am? Just the monkey? Uh, actually, yeah, maybe you won't be able to hit even then. Yeah, at this current place, you wouldn't be able to hit, but it's Ovec. With a range um, attack from behind Ovec, do I still hit Ovec, or...? No, I... you'd, you'd uh, have to roll higher because they'd have partial cover, but it wouldn't be a problem. Oh, okay. Uh, enemies get flanking, right? Yes. Okay. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But Dornov is uh, directly you... after you as well. Yeah. Can you describe the room that they're in? Uh, let me double check again. Uh, what you see mostly immediately is just boxes and scraps of paper all along the floor. Doesn't look like it's been well kept. It's been pretty torn up, possibly looted. Okay. Is it big? Uh, it is significantly bigger than the room you're in now. Okay. Maybe two or three times the area. Hmm. <laughs> This is an awkward place to fight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Oh, what's our, the plan, team? Our only options. Turns take six seconds, so you gotta make a decision. Okay. We're like fighting at Starbucks. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll, I'll step forward, and I'll go and try to hit the monkey. Okay. Uh, 11. Uh, these, because they're just so incredibly slow, they're not hard to hit. Uh, they're weak and slow. Nice. Uh, so you kind of bash it and almost break its arm. Okay. Nice. Alright, that's my Okay. Door off. If I move behind him, will I be blocking him in? Uh, he could choose to leave if he wanted to. Yeah, we can, you can walk through allies. I 
And I will swing at the monkey. Yeah, you absolutely smash him. Uh... I will also cast, then, maneuvering attack. Ooh, okay. Oh yeah, roll uh, roll your superiority dice for extra damage. Ooh, you you smash this guy, but like you knock, uh, you unhinge his bottom jaw, but he's still conscious, unfortunately. But you can move an ally. Who would you like to give the opportunity to move? What what class is Bagur again? He's a druid. I'm a druid. Yeah, Bagur, you can uh, you can move if you want. So you have the opportunity. You can move up to half your speed, which I think is thirty. So you can move three spaces if you want to move anywhere on the board that you think would be better for you. Without provoking any attacks. With those three, can I get here? Uh, can you move through enemies? Uh, no, not typically, but I'll say because there's no opportunity attacks and there's this diagonal, I'll say sure. Nice. Or you could go and try to like flank one of the two dudes. Uh, that'd be a lot harder with just the 15 feet of movement. That's been pretty much all of his. Yeah. And he oh, couldn't right. move through Sorry. enemies. Yeah. Um, next yeah. up is the ape. Its bottom jaw is kind of just like hang, but it's still going to try to use its top jaw. Uh, it already attacked um, Ovac, and it's just going to keep attacking Ovac. Okay. Ooh. Uh, hmm. Uh, it would have advantage because it's, uh... Yes. Flanking. It's flanking. Uh, yeah, sure. So it's teeth kind of just, um... I take two? Yeah, just yeah. two more. Okay. And like with with it like trying to bite you, its whole bottom jaw just ends up actually just falling off. It's Oof. nearly dead. Uh, the okay. other one is going to try to get a good attack off on uh, Bagor, who just kind of squeezed in there. We'll say I will try to shield him. Okay, giving disadvantage. Ooh, man. <laughs> this is the weirdest luck. <laughs> Why the fuck? Come on. How much health do you have? Well, my AC is 15, so that hits. Yeah, absolutely. It, uh, like, leaps up and just bites into your neck real good. So... Uh, and your turn is immediately afterwards. But like, get off, get off, get off. And I try to hit it with my uh, my scimitar. Perfect. 12, does that hit? Absolutely. Uh, you kind of just like shove it off, throw it on the ground, uh, and cut one of its little arms off. Okay, and then... Do I have enough movement to get here? Uh, oh, no, he you will, me. but you'd get an opportunity attack from both this guy and this guy. Then I'm going to move this way. Maybe he won't hit me. Okay. Uh, he will try to swing at you with the cursed dagger. Uh, unfortunately, that is going to hit as well. Uh, does does the, protection work in this case? I don't think because your ally wasn't within five feet of you. I don't think it'll work this time. Fuck. 
Uh, so you will take 8 damage as well as make a wisdom saving throw. I'm on crit. Uh, wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. 15. Oh yeah, you will not be cursed for now. Okay. Let me check something real quick. And I'm gonna healing word myself. That's a bonus action. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, so... Oh no, bad luck. Hmm? It's only, only four, but... Uh, it's a one nothing. plus three, but better than being on four. Yeah. Uh, I'm on eight. Does that heal all of us or just you? Just himself. Well, it it can be for allies, but he's on himself. Okay. Yeah, I think the other one is mass healing ward. Yes. Oh, and I thought it said healing ward. Sorry. No. Um, <laughs> the Negamancer Mage will. Uh, I, he's still feeling a little confident. He'll use his uh, cursed dagger on Novak. Uh, but you're easily blocked that, <laughs> even though you're surrounded by all these enemies. Nice. Uh, he does not want to move yet. Uh, so you can take a turn, Novak. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to try to finish off the monkey. Oh, I didn't realize we have uh, Hex mm -hmm. in here. Sorry, did you want to do something? Uh, no, we'll finish out this combat and then we'll introduce his character. Okay. Uh, so, go ahead. Does an 8 hit? Uh, <laughs> on the, the monkey? The monkey. No, yeah. unfortunately. <laughs> well... Uh, I can't really move anyway, so I guess I'm staying here. Okay. Okay. Door off. I'll swing at the monkey. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, that guy just goes flying ten feet away. Oop. Uh, let's see. Did did we get an attack on the other guy? Uh, yeah, the he's, he has taken some damage, uh, but Gore got a slash off with his sword. Could I use... If I use Action Surge, that lets me take another attack, right? Yes. But you won't be able to use it again until you get uh, a little bit of rest. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm going to do. All right. You definitely uh, kind of just stepping in through the door and doing a massive uppercut on the first monkey. Then you bring it down and smash this uh, cannonball straight into the ground, and he does not appear to be moving. It's dead. Okay. Bagor. How's that confidence wizard? Uh, he definitely <laughs> looks uh, much less confident. He might be trying to run. I'm gonna try to block him. Like I'm gonna stand behind him. Perfect. And I'm nice. gonna swing with my with my scimitar again. Yes. With advantage. Yep. Definitely hits. Nineteen. Get a great hit off on him. 
nine slashing. Yeah, this thing is not armored. It is much, much quicker than the other ones. Uh, actually, it does seem to have some sort of magical armor on itself. Uh, it doesn't appear to be like leather or anything. It appears to be based in magic, but it, uh, your strike was true enough. Anything else on your turn? Uh, no, not for now. No, I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay, uh, the Negamancer is going to try and find a way to escape. Uh, the doorway is blocked. Uh, Are there another exit? Uh, yes. So? I'm gonna... So, this is kind of the other wall of the, the wedding room. Where I sure. W there. Uh, and that goes on further south. And the room goes much further, but there is a door here. And there's also another kind of door later on. Um, okay. He's going to try and run. It's probably much further than the way I'm drawing it. Uh, so it takes like most of his movement to get here. Okay. And it'll take most of your movement to catch up to him. Um, but you guys will each have the chance to do an opportunity attack. Mm-hmm. Go Not away. Me, though, right? Yes, not you. You weren't close enough. Do we have an advantage or not? Uh, I think I've been doing yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Hey. 17 and 18. Alright, you guys seem like... Gross. Like, uh, Bagura almost hamstrings him as... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Ovac crushes his magic armor, but then you see him start casting a spell. Uh oh. Uh, and all of the damage that has been done to him since his last turn uh, gets nullified. Ah, uh, bullshit. No. Really? And he continues walking away. Well, that's the end of his movement for now. So oh, it's just... it'll be a chase. Okay. Do we want to chase this guy? If we don't, he's just going to come back with more friends. <laughs> do I need to do another one alive. to catch up to him? Uh, because he is faster than you, you won't be able to quite make it to him. So you'd be five feet short of being... Actually, That's if... Right. Even, what? Even with a double movement? Uh, let me math it out here. I'll move. Let me move him 30 feet away, actually. 5, 10, sure. 15, 20, 25, 30. So for you, that would be 5, 10. Oh, you just moved 30 away? Yeah, so you could move 25. Because of the situation you were in before, I mm -hmm. think you could actually catch him this turn. So um... if you want to get right on top of him, you can. Let me. Okay, I'm going to try to just move 25. Okay. It'll okay. be about here, right? Yes. And then I'm going to actually channel Divinity and try to use Nature's Wrath as an action. Uh, so I can just post this, right? I think. There should be some way to click it. Let me check your sheet. Yeah, click on the name. There we go. Uh, oh, because I had to write it in. That's why I had to click that thing. Anyway, uh, so they have to uh, do a strength or deck saving throw. Their choice. Okay. If not, they were strained. He will definitely try a dexterity saving throw. Unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> yes. Excellent think, choice. Uh, I don't tell what the DC is. Uh, it'll be the same as your spell. Four, right. But yeah, if it's yeah. four is fine. So, uh, you okay, won't so have a bonus action. So, 
Mm. I don't think I have anything to do for my right. actions. It will be yeah. Dornov. Uh, and you definitely can't walk up within melee, but if you want to get as close as you can, or you can dash and get within range. Yeah, Could I dash in uh, in front of him? Or does he have that path? No, I'll say you, if you want to get in front of him, you can run around him. So could I get here? Yes. That's what I do. Okay. Bagor. Okay. How long do I... What is the ruler on this thing? It's like the fifth, fourth one, fifth one down. They changed it. Give me one sec. If I'm here, can I still reach him with a melee attack? Yes. Okay, then I'm gonna try to hit him with the scimitar again. It's been, it's been working today. <laughs> right. Does a 14 hit? Uh, unfortunately, no. Uh, his magical armor just enough to resist and deflect your attack. One off. <laughs> Anything else? Let me see... No, most of the things I have is an action, so no. Nothing else. Okay. Uh, it would be his turn. Yep. So he has to make a saving throw. Oh, so yeah, he's he, to he can't move. Um, yeah. I think he can still attack. I'm not sure of the rules for his strength. Right. Uh, he would, I think, pretty sure he has disadvantage if he tries to attack. Um, he's going to they have a speed of zero can't get any benefits from speed yeah he's just going to attack with a cursed dagger oh uh any kind of attack roll against him is advantaged. Oh, you're right. Yeah. So, oh. Bagor, you'd actually hit him. I did? Yeah. Right. Right. Because the vines, <laughs> him, crit. the vines held him yeah. still. So, let me see. 1d6 plus 3. So, the 5 is doubled, right? Uh, it. This one will just roll your dice for you. So, it rolled the, the extra d6, and that's the 3. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's 11. So yeah, I hit him. What did I win? Uh, <laughs> Hopefully his separate hit. That might change his turn. I'm trying to think. Uh, he's going to take the dodge action, which I think... Is it an action to get unrestrained? Oh, is it? Oh, I don't he, know. he makes a it saving throw at, at the end, end of his turn, so he doesn't need an action. Okay. Uh, uh, so the dodge will cancel out the advantage for a whole turn by giving disadvantage. So I still don't hit him. Uh, no, you you definitely hit him. His turn's after yours. Oh. Uh, oh, okay. And while dodging, dexterity saving throws have advantage. So he will use that to try to uh, get rid of his fines that are all over him. Uh, well, okay, okay. 20, 20. 20. Yeah, so he can't 20. move, but he's no longer restrained. Yeah. 
and he still is dodging, so you would have disadvantage on attacks. Ovec. Okay, so that means that I can um, go and flank him. Yes, and then you'd have just a straight roll. And cancel out, yeah. All right, let's do that. Okay. <laughs> uh, doorways are not your this, forte, unfortunately. Apparently. Uh, all right. Rangers I... have a favorite terrain, but is there something like a disadvantage <laughs> terrain? Because I think doorways are that for Obek. Yeah. Doorknob. Uh, okay. Wanna, uh... I guess I'm done. I don't have any uh, special. Right. I'll swing at the fucker. Yeah, I, I'm giving you advantage. Hey! 15. Yeah, so uh, the first one will just barely hit, uh, and it is a significant chunk. This guy is uh, super winded, but he's getting ready to cast a spell and bolt uh, Bagor. In that case, oh, Ooh, well, no, go since ahead. I hit. Oh, yeah, you can use uh, another dice. I can do this again, which Absolutely. will give me more damage, and then I'll have Bagur move into a better position. Uh, yeah, roll for damage. Oh yeah, wow. that is more than enough. Uh, so you you try to position him to make it easier for Bagur to move, but you end up kind of just cutting his leg off. Or like smashing his <laughs> sma so yeah, with smashing his knee out from under him, and then with your backswing, you kind of just smash his face in. Sweet, he's dead. I imagine Dorna being like, "Bagor, get him!" Both. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Did he drop? Is the crystal orb he was using still intact? Um. Oh, I want to check his dagger just in case. Uh, we will say just for expediency's sake that um, are you here, Hex? Don't forget, uh, you were on push to talk. I think I asked you. I don't know if that's still on or not. Oh, yeah, it's on. Hey. Um, so, uh, you heard, you were kind of just walk, wandering generally around the area, and you heard, uh, like, some stone smashing and some screaming, and we'll have you kind of come in from uh, the northern side up here. Uh, and you kind of just walk in the store to see uh, these guys smashing one of these as like the robes fall off of this guy on the ground you guys see that he was some kind of lizard man a lizard man uh, maybe his robes won't age but suddenly you see a dragonborn coming in from the north and this Who man are you? does not appear to be a cannibal doesn't appear to be wearing a mask. Uh, so he might not be insane yet. <laughs> I've also never I've also never seen a dragonborn before. Alright. So I'm like, who, who and what the fuck are you? <laughs> He's one who of the lizard people. Who are you? He has a good point. You should introduce yourself before asking the other person to introduce themselves. I raise my hammer and point at the guy on the ground, and <laughs> I'm asking the questions here. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Wow. Y'all look like a couple of kids who just came into a playground, and you're asking me who I am. <laughs> By the way, cool. the room you're in... Uh... 
there's kind of just in the center of the room. It's further off to the right over here. Uh, this room is much bigger. Uh, mm -hmm. But there's like a big like really big knight in like full metal armor kind of just sitting and not moving in the center of the room. Just relax on it. Oh, I play Dark Souls. I know what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> there are also a couple shelves in, uh, with some books in on one of the walls. Doorknob, stand by what he says. What else does anyone else got? Is it like a library? Uh, no, there's just a couple books. I think like oh. eight kind of books scattered across the various shelves. Okay. Uh, I say, uh, my name is Ovak Mini Rhodes. It's a pleasure to meet you, uh, Dragonborn. Uh, what is your name? The name is Hex, and I would respect if you just leave the fact that I'm a dragonborn out of it. Just treat me like anyone else, and I'll be fine. Now, why are you here? That is a good question. <laughs> That's probably a good question. <laughs> <laughs> How tall are you, Ovak? Uh, I'm, I'm pretty short. I'm like, uh, what I say, five four. Anywhere? Yeah, like five four. Yeah, he's five, a, five. a dwarf. Yeah, I'm gonna lean on top of him and say like, hi. <laughs> yeah, uh, kind of out of the doorway, <laughs> pops a half orc. Uh, hi. Uh, I'm a girl. Uh, hello. Hello. You are something I haven't seen before. Hi. Is that bad? He's clearly a demon. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I've seen those. Don't worry. He's not not a demon. If you want to see a demon, yeah, best keep moving on. I agree. We, we shouldn't uh, bother this man any longer than we have to. Now, I just want to ask a question. What was all that noise? What was going on? Uh, we oh, seem to be asking a lot by... of questions, sir, <laughs> and not giving many answers. A man who just met three people heard a lot of noise. I think I can ask questions. Oh, that's easy. We were killing people. Oh, those freaks. And the monkeys. Those, those weirdos that come through here thinking that, uh, whatever. You were dealing with those people? Yes. Then you uh, are not Based on the kind of people we met, yes. Then you are not foe. Yeah, you definitely do not look as crazy as most people here. Except for short one, you may or not be foe. <laughs> I whisper to Ovik, this guy's a little racist, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Wanna very gingerly try to look at the books, like move inside and start looking at books? Pardon, excuse me. Sorry, sorry. Uh, which one of you was also investigating the body? I was. Okay, we'll do that first. Um, the globe does uh, stay intact as it hits the ground. Uh, it's kind of the light that came from inside of it kind of faded at the same time that the life faded out of the sky. Uh, but it is still pretty and... Uh, big, it's about kind of the, say, like the size, it's bigger than like a softball, it's like human brain sized, and it, it might be worth something. It's pretty huge. Uh, what about the robe? Uh, the dagger, 
Um, I think it loses its magic when he dies as well. Um, but it's a pretty fine dagger. It was well maintained. As well as... Um, you find something strange inside of his robes and his pockets. Uh, this appears to be a, Penis. a paper bag that has white powder in it. Uh, but upon investigation, this looks like flour. Like for baking. So, we've now, in the time I've been here, killed a child ghost <laughs> and a baker. <laughs> And we're still the good guys. Somehow. What about the robe? Could it? Because he was a lizard thing, right? Could it? Could it be one of those non-degrading clothing things? Um, as far as you can tell, this is. It feels like uh, cotton or silk or some material that you're familiar with. Doesn't feel like something new to you. And I'll just grab the orb. I still haven't taken my eyes off the Dragonborn, by the way. And he has not taken his eyes off of y'all. Uh, meanwhile, the books... One second. I can't read. I just want to see if they have pictures. You there, why are you looking at those books? Oh, we know a snail that likes to read and eat books or the glue or the pages. Oh, I but, don't but, really remember, but, but, but he likes those. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you kind of have to inadvertently get closer to this night thing to cross the room to get to the bookshelves, you kind of notice like uh, the armor kind of shimmers like fog, and you can almost see like wispy smoke coming out from in between the cracks of its metal plates. Get ready. Oh, I'm staying away from that. Uh, yeah, you kind of try to stick away from the size of it as you go to the uh, wall with the bookshelves. I advise you to move carefully. Um, most of these books are pretty dry, kind of thumb. If you kind of thumb through one of them, it does not have any pictures. Does he react when I grab the books? Uh, let me check here. It does not. Okay, then I'm going to grab uh, all of the books and I'm going to put them in the bag. Uh, the armor turns and looks at you and puts his hand on his sword. Did I not just say, oh. be careful of what you do? <laughs> I slowly put them back on the shelf. It takes his hand off the sword. I take one of them again. <laughs> it's rather we leave or we engage. Make your Hey, look, nah. I can make him move. Uh, the if you wanted to number the loot, you won't have to. You just have to note that it's from a negomancer, like an okay. orb from a negomancer. Okay, I do that with the book twice more, and then I leave it on the bookshelf. It uh, seems to react if it thinks that you're going to steal the books. Hmm. Weird. Uh, 
Hello. Uh, do you understand me? And now you want to engage. I guess that's what we must do. Hey, out of everything that we've met, the things that haven't attacked us are less crazy than the rest. I would just Maybe like to point tell out us something about this place. So you see a night in a place you've never been. It reacts when you touch its stuff and you think it wants to help. It does not respond when you call out to it, by the way. Okay. Uh, you're new. I was raised by wolves, so <laughs> there's a lot of things that I don't really know and I haven't deal with a lot of people. So yes. Well, then maybe you should be the one not to do anything. Maybe you should be the one to wait for others to react. I turn to Dornova Nova. I'm sensing a lot of violence from this guy. Uh, am I doing something wrong? I whispered to Bagur, I think he's controlling the night. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> He keeps okay. talking about, so you want to engage when you touch the books. I think he's some kind of sorcerer. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Makes sense. It does actually make sense. You seem lonely. Do you want to join us? No. <laughs> yeah, not seem like yeah, worth my time. Uh, Again, I'm getting a lot of like aggression from this guy. Like, and now he's standing on his head. What a strange fellow! <laughs> um, around this time. Oh fuck. We will say uh, coming from uh, we'll say it was kind of seems to come from one of the shelves like a high one that maybe uh, you just weren't paying attention to. Uh, but a very beautiful little butterfly kind of just flapping uh, through the air. Uh, the light catches it strange. It looks like it's very shiny. Uh, kind of flies uh, in like this general direction. Does the knight do anything with it when it starts flying away? No, it does not. Does it seem magical, like the butterfly? Uh, I will say... Uh, Hex's character has seen this thing before. Uh, you would you would know that it is made out of various kinds of precious stone. You've kind of seen it uh, sitting still at some point, but um, it's probably extremely valuable. But it is also extremely fast and difficult to catch. You don't know much else about it. That that creature, creature that I have seen. Oh. We shall just let it pass, for it's something that shall not be wielded or captured. Did you impart the knowledge of what it is to us? No. <laughs> uh, it kind of tries to basically pass straight over. Um... Can I just casually try to catch it in my hand? Uh, As it flies past me. You may try if you want. Okay. Would you uh, what do you mute want? 
Like we just met this guy <laughs> and we've been doing everything that he's telling us not to. We went to acrobatics. Well, acrobatics. he's not answered uh... any of our questions. <laughs> we'll say it'll be like a grapple check, like any other thing. So that would be an athletics on your part. And okay. but you will not succeed. And acrobatics no. on this part. Come on, fumble. Ah. Can I try to catch the <laughs> shiny object? Will not succeed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's already flown past uh, Ovac, <laughs> but if you want to try to run after it, you may. Please do not get tempted by such a such a small creature. I'm I'm, I'm just a bit sad. I I can catch it. I wasn't going to bother with it, but because you tell me not to. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> don't, don't, I, do this. don't Op doesn't trust the guy. He doesn't. He all all he knows is it's something called a dragonborn, and he hasn't answered any of our questions. <laughs> Why must you try to aggravate me? I mean, Doorknob's not even talking to you. He's chasing after the shiny object. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said something to me. Uh, so, yeah, you made a check here. Let me pull up a cheese again. Like, I have low charisma, so I'm going to be just there, stand, like, watching Hex, like, hey. And it, it kind of, like, dodges your hand and kind of dances in front of your face happily and then just kind of keeps moving a little bit southwards. <laughs> Children. Uh, dwarves, they say. They're actually older than me. <laughs> no. I'm not worried about if he was a dwarf or not. It just amuses me that y'all really are trying to catch such a creature. You trying again? <laughs> well, I, I was going to ask, how, how does this work? Like, is it one and done, or can I... How, how, how does that work? Uh, it will probably be at its destination. Uh... I'll say maybe one of you could have one more attempt. Go for it, Don Hobbs. Ooh, 18? Nice. Let's see. I mean, fuck, the thing's got plus nine, so. <laughs> I mean, he, he rolled 13 both times, so it's going to roll 13 again. Happen, honestly. 16! Uh, yes. You see it kind of fly onto the floor and try to turn sideways and crawl under the wall somehow down here. Uh, but you end up like grabbing and like pinching its, like grabbing it by the wings in its back and kind of pulling it back out as you can hear its uh, stone metallic, uh, small, super, super tiny. Uh, legs kind of scraping the forward, trying to pull itself away from you, but you you have it right now. <laughs> how I'll be damned! How heavy is this thing? Uh, it's probably like under half a pound. Do I know? Can I make a check and figure out what it's made of? Uh, yeah, because you kind of know stonework, you can make a some kind of intelligence check, whatever you want. So it is made out of stone, right? It's like precious gems and uh, other stuff. I'll turn. Would you. that would that count for my stone cunning, if it's related to the origin of stonework? Probably. Oh, excuse me. It's not a butterfly. It's a hummingbird. Oh, okay. A stone hummingbird. Yes, it's a. You kind of grab it. I had the wrong icon for it this whole time. Um, it's made out of like paper thin rubies, diamonds, emeralds, and sapphires. 
An award fit for a warrior. Claim your yeah. promise. It's only made out of precious gems, no metals. Uh, like maybe like little thin runs of uh, wire, kind of holding its parts kind of together as the joints. If you're done catching animals, would I... like to proceed with said conversation we were having. Seeing... He, he, he just did what he said he, he couldn't do. See, <laughs> seeing as it's just made out of shiny shiny uh, gems and not any metals, I just bring it to my face, pat it lightly on the head, and then let it go. What? What? Uh, it kind of lets itself fall until it gets right before the ground, and then it hovers, and then it crawls through the, the hole in the wall. How disappointing. Yes, let it go? It wasn't made of anything interesting. We could have kept it in a bottle. Why? To look at. I would not imprison such a creature. <sighs> I just want to walk around me. Hex and see if he's got a tail. Never <laughs> mind, you have old mates of mine. So how did you get to your hex into this dungeon? And I man. was sent here by my commander. No creepy guy with a cloak promising money trapping you in? Uh, no, I'm here yeah, I commander. believe that because is that's been like 90% a, of us. A pretty similar story to what you you've experienced. You uh, had some kind of heist that you were sent on, and you succeeded, but uh, you ended up going into this portal and getting trapped here. That was a long time ago. Yup. How long ago? Very long ago that I am an adult now. Wait, how long have you been here? That of... A teen, a small child. Been here like a decade? Have you kept uh, maybe, maybe close to a year. It, at least that's what it feels like. Oh, just a year? Uh, but maybe if he spent no. uh, different amounts of time in the, uh, the time warping things, it's been much longer and he's been aged. Okay. Remember Cronia, so yeah. Well, since you ask me questions, then the same goes for y'all. The, the same question I, I just asked me, and yeah, yeah, I have to answer those. No, sure. but, but how uh, do we get here? How do yeah, we get yeah, here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, a uh, creepy guy sent us an animation. We stole a painting, brought us here. Then apparently we have no way out. Yeah, we got That's trapped in here deal. by a dude. After we stole a painting. I, All of y'all. Ovik and I were part of a team. We just re we just met up again. <laughs> I've been here two days, by the way. I've been here a month. Oh, that's right. Uh our expedition outnumbers their expedition now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, some of them are still in the red room sleeping, but yeah. Well, I'm not going to ask to join your group, but I will ask if I could attend by uh, for a while, just so that my mind doesn't slip past. I think that's going to happen faster with this group. Maybe. I don't oh. care what you do, but know that I'm watching you, demon. Oh, you can no. watch all you want. <laughs> you your boundaries 
and you will lay here. So we're going into PvP. I just want to go look at the swan. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, but there's still other stuff. Swan As well, you haven't uh, taken much time to look at this room. Doorknob has a one tr one track mind. <laughs> swan. <laughs> <laughs> In the meantime, swan I'm gonna be like, swan. like, okay, so do you breathe fire like the dragons or uh, yes, ice yes. like the white ones or? Yes, I breathe fire. If that's amusing. Cool. I don't breathe it, but I make it on my hand. It's kind of similar. <laughs> uh, Bagor, can you make a perception check for me, please? Sure. Uh, where is? I don't see my per. Oh, there you are. Right at the nature. Yeah. Twenty-one. Uh, you see this little uh, shiny thing kind of peek its head out of the, the corner of the wall and make little twerps and and little noises that tries to get your attention and then goes back into the wall. Huh. I think there are rats here. Wait, is this the same thing? That, it's uh... a shiny gemstone hummingbird. Okay. <laughs> Those are not rats. Do they have a name? Uh, you probably have not heard of the name for this thing. I wouldn't know, but I've seen a rat, and I know their features, and that is not one. Uh, I'm going to try with Druidcraft. It says that I can make a, the sound of a small animal. I'm going to try to repeat the little sound that it made. Okay. Try, trying to get it its attention. Uh, make an animal handling check. Okay. Twenty. Uh, yes. yeah, you definitely do a pretty good imitation, and uh, it uh, pokes his head back out through and like looks at you, and then looks at the wall, and then goes back in the wall. Hmm. Bagur, what are you yes. doing? Uh, not really sure. Looks like the teeny tiny creature is trying to set me a trap, but I don't know why. It's or merely how to get it your pretends. attention. Sorry. It's merely trying to get your attention. Hmm. To what end, demon? You are you are in the uh, other room by now. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna okay. crouch. Where are you, by the way, <laughs> Ovac? Are you gonna investigate the swan, or are you gonna stay in this room? Uh, I'll continue watching what Balgo is doing. Okay. I'm gonna crouch, and I'm gonna uh, hold one of the black roses, and I'm gonna try to get it, its attention again with Druidcraft. Uh, this time it doesn't pop out. It just keeps making the tweeting noises on the other side of the wall. And you can kind of hear it through the hall. Hmm. Weird. Uh, uh and with your, your high perception, you can also see this section of the wall down here. Uh, there's kind of a gap between the wall and the floor. Hmm. Uh, give me one sec. I'm going to try to see if maybe I have something. So, can I open the wings on this swan? Um, so, as you get 
a much closer look and kind of have the opportunity to look around it from all angles instead of just from the outside of the track. Uh, you can make out that uh, I'll start off with asking you to make an arcana check. By the way, I don't have a lot of stuff, so I'm just gonna uh, turn turn around and say like, hmm, maybe it wanted to play, and then I'm gonna move to the wine room. Okay. Um, the first thing you're able to determine after seeing everything about this uh, is that this was designed and enchanted to be tied to something else, some other kind of event. And until that event occurs, uh, this is nearly invulnerable uh, to any kind of access. But it is currently stopped still. Yes, it's kind of like bopping back and forth on the river as the string like gets taut and like kind of just bounces back a little bit. Was it possible to get it out of the river? Uh, I mean, it's probably huge, right? Yeah, you would estimate it's pretty heavy. Um the way it kind of floats on the water pretty deep makes you imagine it's probably several hundred pounds. I'm just, I'm going to leave it stuck in place here and I want to look at the northern door. Uh, it is currently closed. It has a doorknob on it. The <laughs> doorknob's gonna reach for the doorknob. <laughs> it is unlocked. Seems to rotate freely. I will very slowly open it and peek in. Uh, this room is completely covered in uh, plants. It is... Uh, oh, you weren't with them. Uh, so you would not immediately recognize uh, some of these uh, strange-shaped flowers that are growing here. Uh, but this room is completely covered, all the walls in plant life, vines, uh, and some strange flowers. But it also appears that there is some kind of tunnel in this room. I walk in without hesitation. Uh, especially Bagur, as you kind of leave the other room, you notice uh, Dornov opening this door and stepping inside. Hey, what up? Uh, guys, Dornov is moving on to the next room and I try to catch up to him. Yeah, I'll I'll curiosity. Uh you you're a bit behind uh Uvac. Oh maybe you weren't there either. Oh Bagor would definitely know. Um these these strange flowers, uh Bagor yeah. are similar to the living orchid men that uh, with you, the, you fought with the juveniles of in the gardens. The ones with the unconscious lady that doesn't have a yes, soul? Yes, so these are still in the growing stages. They're not ready to like stand up and fight yet, but they are very, very similar, and you would guess the same, the same thing. Am I close enough to grab the door knob by the neck? 
It depends on, like, if he's, like, sprinting or just casually walking. I mean, I just walked straight in, because as far as I know, it's just some pretty flowers and an interesting tunnel. Uh, You definitely get far enough into the tunnel to see it is... uh, uh, Do you have dark vision as a dwarf? Sure do. Uh, So it Mm -hmm. goes... It's dark, but it goes on as far as you can see. It goes on 60 feet, at least. Um, And you don't really see... There's... The vines here and the flowers aren't uh, aren't really growing as much. They were more inside of the previous room, so it's kind of just more a lot of dirt, a little vines kind of spreading in between. Uh, but it goes at least sixty feet uh, before Bagor catches up to you. Do all the flowers look healthy? Uh, yeah, they're performing. They're growing very well. And I'm gonna try to grab doorknob and go like, "Hey, wait, 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 wait! These are the babies of something we fought before we met you." Okay. Careful, they're dangerous. They will try to grab you, and then they're gonna make you smell something like really sweet or really tasty. Or, uh, in my case, they made me smell like my family, and then you, uh, you put your face on their acid just by your own will. Were you, were you um, around for that room, Ovac? Uh, no, I was okay, not. Okay, so you would probably, since you spent some time in the gardens, Ovac, you would probably recognize the adults of these species. Uh, mm-hmm. So you kind of, like, recognize it as he points it out to you now. Yeah. Uh, they're definitely uh, common inside the gardens area. And this, all the vines all around the room definitely is reminiscent of it. Mm-hmm. So let me get this right. You're worried about flowers, but you drank a strange red liquid you found swimming in a river. Uh, to be fair, we were doing like a thing where there was a cleric and I made him look like he was a prophet of nature and stuff. So like he's not threatening. And then like eight of those things came on to us and attacked us. This red thing didn't attack me when I arrived here. Those did. Okay. So as long as something is not attacking, I'm not thinking it's dangerous. Those are dangerous. Yeah, he's probably right. Is this tunnel new? Um, I'll say no. It has been here for a while. Any indication of how it was made? Um, it almost seems that, uh, it was kind of carved by the plants themselves, like just pushing their way brute force through. The The walls are all packed, packed full of dirt. Besides the tunnel and the first door, is there any other exits from this room? Um, yes. Those of you that have high passive perception would notice after coming out of that end of the tunnel, behind the the vine walls of a couple of the other walls, uh, I just said walls like five times, but uh, there are <laughs> a couple other doors that appear to be closed. Bagur. Yeah. Are the vines dangerous? Or just the flowers? Um, the orchids are dangerous. The flowers haven't done anything to us, like the vines. So far, they haven't done anything to us. Can I just, like, try and gently brush the vines out of the way on one of the doors? Um, 
Yeah, I'll, I'll just for fun say make a athletics check. You kind of try to push them out of the way without uh, damaging too much. They are very thick vines. They're very hardy. Uh, and you kind of push them, get them out of the way enough that you could open one of the doors. I do that. Which direction are you thinking of? Well, I figure east is where is where that guy came from, so let's go north. Did we loot the two, the monkey and the other guy that was with the necromancer? Oh, uh, I did not do that. Did anyone kind of try that? Or... I was only interested in the necromancer. Yeah, I that's right. Okay. And I was checking the animal, so I'm going to guess no. Yep. That's okay. Um, so yeah, northwards is going to be... While we're on this room, I'm going to be constantly looking at the orchids, trying to see if they move or not. Um, if you stare long enough, you can almost convince yourself that they're, they're little acid sacs that kind of go beneath their chins or kind of just growing as, as kind of the whole thing grows, but you're ew. not sure if that's in your imagination or if they're getting bigger. Ew, 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 ew. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, Calm yourself. Change pages here, just because we've had a lot on this one. That shit burns. And it's disgusting now that I think about it. Looks like they have like a little testicle under their face. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, uh... face. it's like a flower. Uh, this is probably a bigger room. This is north, right? Yes. Uh, and kind of entering from the bottom descends a staircase into a pool. Now like I the whole what... room is a pool. A... Now I see what you meant with this map being a mess. I'm trying to organize yeah, like, it a little bit. Part of this is going to get crazy. Uh, the pool is fairly clear. There does appear to be something swimming around inside the grayish uh, pool. And it's got some no, kind of light no coming and emanating from it. No organs or parts of bodies like the common economies thing? What was that? Nothing like what was on the gallery. Like, uh, wait, I had the art. Oh, the you art had like little me. fish in the aquarium? Yeah, there was a piece of art that was like a pool. And it had something in it. It looked like organs, or oh no, this is chunks not that. of meat. Yes. Okay. I I turn to Bagur and say, "Do you want to drink from this too?" <laughs> uh, no, animals live in this one, so no. There's gonna be fish poo and fish pee, so no. Learned that lesson when I was a kid, so no. I turn to, uh, actually, hey, demon, do you know what that thing is? Uh, do I know what this thing is? Uh, let's say you've got maybe we'll say you've got like a 25% chance. Uh, sure. So what is it? Um, <laughs> you're not yes, sure no what it's yes. called. Uh, but it, as far as you can tell, 
Uh, it's mostly a scavenger and will only attack when it's super hungry. Um, what kind of alignment does your character have, Hex? Not good. Uh, even like maybe once upon a time this thing came after you and you like wanted to fight back on it. Um, it kind of felt wrong attacking this thing for some reason. Yes, I somewhat know of it. The name, no. This this is not something that is, should be harmful to us, but I, I don't know. That is all the info I have. See, now Doorknob's in a bad position here. <laughs> I don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> How big is this thing? Uh, maybe like uh, six feet long. It's hard to tell. It's uh, does this pool is pretty deep and it is uh kind of just swimming in what would be the bottom of it. You must test the waters first. Okay, well, since it's bigger than me, I'm going to ignore the fact that I don't trust anything he said, and I'll just ignore it. We must they test, don't even test the waters. <laughs> just jump in. <laughs> we must throw something in to see if it's aggravated or not, or, or shall it attack or not. Throw something in, you say. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'll remind you, I did tell you if you did step your boundaries, what will happen. Doranov, I think he means he's going to hurt you. Well, that's rather uncalled for. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> because, see, all I did was turn away from the water to get out a, a day's worth of rations Tied up in some rope. <laughs> okay. Are you going to toss that in? I'm going to toss the rations and I'm going to keep a hold of the rope. Uh, as you kind of just toss it out, you kind of expect it to slowly float on the surface and maybe sink slowly. Uh, instead, what happens is even like without the this fish thing moving or reacting at all, uh, when it hits the water, it starts sinking very quickly. But you still have a hold of the rope. It's not like pulling. It just like sinks way faster than you were expecting it to. And you kind of just feel a little bit of resistance to on the rope. It's not like something is grabbing it. It's just like more weight than you were expecting. Water pressure. Question, is there like somewhere to walk or is all of this just It's walk? all pool. Hmm. Was there any reaction from the fish? Uh, it kind of uh, starts to swim towards it. Wait for a reaction. Doorknob is just going to keep fishing. You're going to try to let it bite the, <laughs> the food? Yeah. Okay, let me just double check. Just in case I'm gonna touch uh um doorknob's shoulder I'm I'm gonna cast resistance. And I'm gonna Thanks, tell him like, hey, maybe be careful that thing is really big. Uh, okay, it is going to approach your rope, which is now on the bottom, whatever you have is on the bottom of the this pool, and it's going to make a bite on it. Uh, you can feel it uh, tug on your rope. Are you going to try to, like, there's not much you can do to hook it, but... I'm just going to, like, slowly try and coax it to the surface. 
Okay, sure. Question. Uh, is this an animal that I can turn into by using wild shape? Um, no, this would not be. Uh, for a reason that uh, I would... It's not Hopefully, a beast. Yeah, it's not a beast. It's another Got category. It. Okay. Um, I will have it roll an attack roll here. See. Oh, Jesus. Oof. Oof. Um... Your your rope uh, kind of goes a little loose and limp, <laughs> and this thing starts swimming away. Plus, you also lose an arm. Roll for Constitution. <laughs> <laughs> I pull up the rope. Are the rations still there? No, they are gone. And like whatever knot you tied the rations on is also gone. You lost like a couple feet of rope. So who's jumping in first? That Do we was my have plan. To? Is there an exit from this room? Uh, you see another staircase on the left immediately. Is the whole room a pool? Or yes, pretty much. Anything? Other than like the the few staircases which kind of end abruptly, a couple okay. feet under the water. They don't go all the way down to the depths of the pool. Hmm. Is there any way that I can determine how fast it swims? Oh, it swims mm. pretty fast. Given my knowledge. Yeah, from from what you've seen today and from what he's seen in the past, um, it probably has like a speed of, we say, 20? Or 15, maybe. Okay. Uh, well, if anyone, if anyone wants to swim, I can turn into, like, something big, like a crocodile or something like that, and maybe keep it busy in the meantime. But I don't really want to get wet, because then it's a pain in the ass to get dry, and I get cold, and, you know, it's a mess. Can you turn into something fast? Not a crocodile. Let me see. Um, Caleb, would I have known any other fishing animals, given that I lived in a forest? Hmm... Maybe like a giant frog, or uh, I don't think that's very fast. Maybe some snakes that can swim. Salmon? A salmon? Was he like a salmon? Will he know a salmon? He's had a, a very sheltered forest life. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> you're good, you're good. Oh, yeah, you're oh, okay. Never mind. You might want to go for the snake then. Yeah, let me check here. Uh, constrictor, giant, poisonous. Uh, which one of these can swim? We'll say any of them can swim. Uh... Just hurry up and get in the water. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, where do I see the chal oh, challenge two? But I have the circle of the circle of the moon. So you can do this four. Yeah, I can turn into it. I want to turn into a 
giant constrictor snake. That's pretty big. I gotta learn to defend myself from whatever that thing is. Okay. Uh, yeah, you kind of slither off into the water. As you slither off to the water, I proceed to follow. Um, I'm gonna be trying to get its attention see, first. You can't be uh, CR two until level six. Is that right? No. Let me see. Uh, where is my druid stuff? Uh. Give me a sec, I don't have my book at hand. I'm gonna find it on Google. Uh, I pick the circle at level two, and it says when you choose this circle at second level, you gain the ability to use wild shape as a bonus action. Uh, starting at second level, you can use your wild shape to transform into a beast with a challenge rate as high as one, mm. but must abide by the other limitations. So, like the swim speed and all of that. Level six, you can do level. Th level six is CR2. when I can CR two. Okay, so let me check what animals can I get with CR two. That'd just be one. a normal constrictor snake or. Uh, a giant toad. Giant octopus, giant poison snake, giant frog. Uh, I'm gonna go with the constrictor snake. Okay. With the regular one. Uh, you slip into the water, and this thing kind of, it stays on the bottom, but it uh, definitely is paying attention to you. Okay, I'm gonna be swimming close to it but between it and the rest so that if it moves I can like get in the middle alright are you guys falling and trying to swim through yeah I'm in the well here here's my question when he went in there as a snake because like the food sank really quick did anything happen to him does not appear to uh, have changed him at all. So I have a question. I am in chain now, I believe. Ooh, yeah. You are strong, though. Can I take off the chain now and I put it in my backpack just in case? That'd take at least 10 minutes, I think. Oh, right. It takes time to take off yeah. chain now, but hmm. am I a strong swimmer? Have I ever swam before? Uh, that's up to you. You, in general, you have like strong legs, hypothetically. Yeah. But hopefully, I, you know how to swim. <laughs> I think I know how to swim, but I've just I guess I've never swam in heavy armor. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Oh, that's by probably the way, going to be a consideration for Dornov as well. Just yeah. in case that it hits me with something, it says that as a constrictor snake, I have uh, 13 hit points. Okay. Or 2d10 plus 2. Screw it, I'm just going to swim to the other set of stairs. Alright. Uh, if you're in armor, I will say make an athletics check. And if you're not in armor, you won't have to. Alright, I'll try to get to the other side. <laughs> See how this goes. I'm not in armor. Hey! Alright, so... You guys, let's say if you're also dashing, you can make it in one round. Mm -hmm. uh, That's my plan. So this thing is going to start charging at Bagor as uh, you guys are... <gasps> 
kind of halfway through. Great. Um, so you you are faster than it. it um, Who goes first in this like mini combat? Yeah, we'll we'll just have you both roll initiative. Okay, give me a sec. Have like five windows open here. Oh, uh, finally a good initiative. All right, so you have the opportunity to react as this thing starts picking up speed. It looks like it's taking the dash action to try to get close to you. Uh, I'm gonna try to constrict. So you that's wanna a... let it get close to you and then try to attack it? Yeah, it's melee, so I'm gonna wait until it's close and try to well, constrict it, it, it. It's still under you, it's like 10 feet below you or something. Then I get closer, like I go a little bit lower. Okay. Uh, so, make an attack roll as a snake. That's Why are we fighting? <laughs> Plus four to hit. <laughs> to keep it away from you guys. Uh, so I don't have the form. So I'm going to roll the d20. Give me, give me one sec. Perfect. He has like no health. This is not something he thinks about. That's a 21. Uh, impressively. You... Uh... You kind of like wrap, you're not, you would not be long enough to wrap around its whole body in the middle. It's kind of thicker and bigger than that. But you kind of wrap around its head and it kind of prevents it from opening its mouth just a little bit. So you're okay. kind of trying to squeeze its head. Uh, do I roll for damage or is it uh, yeah, just grapple? Yeah, you can grapple? roll a, uh, what's your alignment actually? Uh, chaotic good. Um, can you make a, I mean, if uh, I can avoid the damage, I will. Intelligence saving throw. Okay. Uh, that's going to be, I have proficiency on intelligence, but I also have minus one because of the ghost. Oh, that's true. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, I forgot to but get back to you crit. about uh, how we're going to work with that in the future. I'll make sure we do that this week. Um, okay. So, yeah, you... 20 plus 1, then. What is your... your stats in, like, religion is 0. Can you make a religion check for me? Okay. Three. <laughs> uh, you don't know why, but uh, somehow you feel like uh, something is trying to prevent you from hurting this thing, but you manage to shrug it off. So if you want to hurt it, you you can. Um, well, I don't think that's necessary, so if I can avoid it... I'm not going to hurt it. I'm just going to keep its mouth closed. Okay. Uh, it says that the target is grappled and the DC to escape is 14. Yes. It says the creature is restrained and the snake can constrict another target. So is it grappled and restrained or yes, the one restrained both. me? Oh, okay. Uh, so it can't move on its turn, actually. Um, it is just going to try and flail to escape. Uh, and that just barely meets your, uh, your escape DC. Yeah, it's just enough. Uh, but that spent is action, uh, and now you can see that your friends are safely on the staircase, and it's your turn. 
Okay, bye. And I'm gonna try to swim away. Are you going to take the dash action to get away fast but take an opportunity attack? Or do you want to take the disengage action to try to just swim away without getting an opportunity attack? If by any chance he gives me 13, plus 13 points plus, of damage plus, plus, and I turn back, what will be my swimming speed? Like uh, half of my speed? Yeah, probably. Especially since, like, you're wearing light armor and you've got, like, a cloak or whatever and boots on and everything. Uh, then I'm gonna take the disengage and I'm gonna swim the 30 feet that I have. Okay. Uh, so that'll be around... around here somewhere. Uh... Okay. It will dash action to try to catch up to you, and then Damn it. it can't, but then you can disengage again and keep running, and I think eventually you can get away. Without. I'm gonna do that. And just for fun, I'm gonna try to jump onto... Mm, let, me, <laughs> let me do something. Come here, friend. Oh, no. Whoops. Sorry. So I'm gonna try to jump on jump on doorknob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, big boy snake starts uh, like shooting out of the water at you. At me? Yes. <laughs> oh, you mean uh, trash catch it? Do <laughs> I do I know I know that that's yes, Bakur, you, right? you saw him. You saw him transform. I'm I'm positive this is Bagur, right? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I'll, I'll just grab it and throw it uh, <laughs> onto the stone stairs where we are. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. This thing kind of follows you up to the surface of the stairs and then slowly descends back down and towards middle of the pool. Uh, as you see it a little bit closer when it's up here, it uh, you can see it's pretty large, it's all black. Um, I will say uh, Ovac, can you make a religion check? Okay. That was a 14. Uh, this thing is celestial in nature. Ooh. Um, Did I just try to choke an angel, kind of? And, uh, as far as you know, it doesn't exist on, like, the the world where, you know, this everybody place. lives. Uh, and it's probably not native to this place, either. Huh. Um, but, uh, you've heard of a th something called an angel fish. <laughs> uh, they're they're not particularly uh, like you know smart, a little like uh -huh. mindless in the way that fish are. Uh -huh. But uh, they you haven't done a lot of research on them, but that's kind of as much as you know. Do I know? Are they like aggressive by nature? Uh, not by nature, no. But they need to eat. Okay, is this one hungry? Uh, you can't tell from that religion. Harmless. Two questions. Uh, what is blind sight? Blind blind sight, and will it have affected the way I escaped? No, it just means like even uh, with your eyes closed, you can see within ten feet of you. So that for a snake, that represents oh. their ability to smell. Yeah. Like, as a oh, human, you okay. wouldn't be able to engage in combat in the dark. But as, like, a snake in the dark, you don't have dark vision, but you can see perfectly in the dark because your sense of smell is so good. So you have blind sight. Okay. No, Got I, it. I explained to everyone else saying that that right there is an angel fish. And also on it, 
are some sort of, uh, not of this world. Remora-like creatures. A couple of them are attached to it. Remo oh, like the, the eel thing? Parasites. Yeah. Uh, kind are of they... like not necessarily bad parasites. What's the word for it? Uh, yeah. Symbiotes? Uh, symbiotes? Yes, yeah. That's it. How long uh, can they it... stay in an animal shape? I think an hour or more. Okay. Okay. Do you, th do you think it was just hungry for an animal? Probably. The these things are celestial in nature, so it's hard to judge. Uh, it, did any of those uh, symbiotes get on us like it did last time? Uh, no, they stayed attached to the fish. Okay. How Maybe far it's hungry? How far it's under the a, water do the steps go? Uh, probably maybe like ten or five feet below the surface. If if I just stand on like one of the last steps, what what does the angel fish do? Um, it it'll probably kind of sit around like. 20 feet away and watch you under the water like probably 10 or 15 feet below kind of just watching but it's, it's just watching me yes could I do any kind of animal handling to try and get it to come closer um I could say you can try, but it'd be pretty tricky. Um, yeah, that's probably uh, not enough. Uh, you kind of like try to tap the water and get it to act like there is something on the surface that it might want, but it doesn't seem to react, and it kind of just turns around and now seems to be ignoring you. Fuck. Okay, in the room behind you... Yep. Am I carrying the snake, Bagur? <laughs> That's a good question. Has the uh, go change back? I yet? looked it up by the way, and you can be up to half your level, so up to two hours if you want. Oh, okay. I'm gonna stay like this then, because I only have one wild shape mm -hmm. left. Yeah. Uh, this room piled against the west wall. Although I my armor class sucks. I may as well draw it. New page. This is smaller, but uh, not small. Uh, along the west wall is lots of boxes. Uh, there's tables, there's chairs, uh, but not necessarily, like, next to each other. There's, like, chairs over here. And, like, a table over here. Um, there's kind of shelves that are on their sides and not, uh, in a usable position. Lots of dusty furniture and boxes of, and crates and stuff that are not in use at this current time. So they're just like, so that's it in the room? Yeah, like dusty old crates and old furniture and boxes. And that's really all there is in the room other than uh, a doorway to the north. I guess I'll go check in these boxes. You can make an investigation check if you'd like. Doorknob just says under his breath, uh, 
Uh, children in their boxes. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. Wait, who's carrying me? Yo. Door and office. Hmm. They're made of wood, guy. <laughs> You kind of search some of the shelves and uh, some of the smaller boxes, and they kind of just look like some of them have paper on them, in them. Uh, and that's what you kind of spend your time doing. Is there anyone else you'd like to check or look at something sure. else? I'll, I'll look through the stuff. Make an investigation check. Yep. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, there's, uh, you find one of the boxes looks like it has, uh, just some, like, unlit torches in it. That could be useful. But, uh, yeah, that's probably it. Can I grab a couple? Sure. What? Anything else interesting in the room? Uh, no, that's pretty much it, other than the doorway to the north. Okay. Do we want to head out then? Yeah. What's up here? Uh, so this is the thing which you definitely have not seen before. It is kind of just peeking inside. You see a golden throne with a, like, swollen, grotesque, golden mask of a man who's kind of just, like, grunting to himself and counting some coins or something. Uh, he doesn't seem to have noticed you yet. Is there, like, piles of coins in here, or is it just a gold throne with a fat gold guy on it looking at his money? Uh, there's definitely some, like, stacks and piles, mostly centered around him. Um, and s strangely, like, a lot of kind of the gold that you come across in here is... Um, like combined with like some copper and some platinum pieces mixed in, this appears to be all gold. So I t I'm just gonna take my javelin and chuck it at him, full on. Whoa! So that guy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, does Does I'm anyone see him like, doing this? Really argue, but I'm gonna start shaking. <laughs> This is a... No. Uh, so you kind of just throw one in his direction uh, straight hard, but it ends up uh, clattering to the ground next to him. And he says, Oh, who's there? Oh, did I miss? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I, turn, I turn around and I say, Demon, what the hell are you doing? It's better to attack first boy, than to be attacked. This could be a friend. He kind of like rolls on friends down here. Rolls off of his uh, his throne, and like his uh, some of like his stomach fat almost reaches down to the floor as he stands up. Um, oh, that's just gross. It's just nasty. He uh, 
sees a uh, doorknob who's closest to him. Says, you there. What are you doing here? I, I say, we are trapped in here by some unknown madness. We don't mean any harm here. My friend is a demon. Have you got gold for me? That depends. I can tell you have gold for me. That depends on how... on what we get for it. Do you know what I think? No. I think you have 85 gold for me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Whoa. That's a cute trick. <laughs> and what... And what could you use my 85 gold for? For whatever I want to use it for. Now tell me, why should I give it to you? Do you are you in possession of any rare metal? If you give it to me, I will not punish you. I have done nothing against you. It was this demon here. I start pulling on the on the arm of whoever's carrying me, like trying to get them to go. Just because you haven't done anything to me doesn't mean you're not a liar and a cheat. You've lied and you've cheated sometime in your life, I know it. My friend, I have done nothing but honest deals my whole life. I work in a mine for whatever God's name. <laughs> I don't know D&D &D that well. <laughs> and when you left the mine, did you not have gold dust on your shoes that you stole from your workers without knowing? I bet you did. I did not mine for gold. I have no use for such precious metals. I only seek the tougher metals of the earth. Gold is weak, malleable. Uh, he kind of starts walking towards you and says, even if you you don't think you're a thief, you are. Each one of you. And tell me, my friend, how is it that you came upon such a hoard of gold, if not by thievery? They're just giving to me what is mine. The words of a thief, then. I'm gonna throw another javelin. Uh, make another attack roll. <laughs> I will hit it. Uh, he ends up catching it. Oh shit! Or oh, it, it like actually it uh, kind of like skims off the side of him, and he kind of just reaches back as it slows down and and catches it without really doing any damage to him. And in his hands, the whole spear turns to gold. Or the whole javelin. Oh. I, sh I shout, Demon, what are you doing? <laughs> you You're should not have, have done learn. that. You're all gonna have to learn to speak animal because I'm yelling, run like a snake. <laughs> Psst. Because they're like, Psst, Psst, Psst. Actually, I have speak with animal, so I could if I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> you do? Yeah. What is your class? Dragon Ball. Yeah, and uh, fighter, I believe. Maybe. Wow. Ooh, barbarian. Oh, barbarian. Yeah, I think he's That's like so a, cool. a naturey kind of thing. We have just given you gold. I mean, that's true. We did give him gold. Uh, he, he points at Hex and uh, and wait one second <laughs> uh, he says 
Uh, I think your 62 gold belongs to me now. You're cooped up in here for how many years? And you still worry about something as such little as gold? Of course, it's all that matters. All right, look, friend, I understand you're mad at my the demon back here. I want nothing bad to happen here, so I'm going to let you two deal with this, and I'll be, be on my way. Can I walk in? Uh, sure. Yeah. I, I wave hello to the gold dude. We dwarves are friendly people. <laughs> <laughs> we seek only an amicable end. You want my gold. It's my gold, and you have it. <laughs> it has my face on it. Does it? I pull out the gold I have. I'm, I, I, I'm guessing I have some gold. Do I? Actually, do I? Aren't you a snake? No. It, no, no, no. That's uh, no, no, gold. I'm the snake. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, but I'm Ovak. Do I have any more gold left? Uh, probably. <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, I will... We'll say you have like 12 or something. Okay. Uh, I pull out one of the gold coins. Yeah, you pull out a handful and kind of in front of yeah. you, like the uh, the faces all transform and move, change to his. Oh, they transform in real time? Yes. Huh. I throw all 61 of my gold on the ground. You can have your gold. But one you will have to take from me. Um. He kind of uh he says very well and he kind of transforms into a a big massive hive of fat heavy bees that are kind mm. of flightless and they're kind of just rolling on the ground and crawling on the ground. Uh, and he's like all chained up in golden ropes and is kind of like tilting and wobbling. And uh, he's uh, definitely going to get aggressive at this point. So uh, since we only have like 10 minutes left of the session, we'll probably just stop here for yeah, the night like good, good point and to stop. pick up with this next time. Okay. Before we do that, do we see like a way out of the room? Or does uh, the entry that we got? Uh, no, that's a dead end. Oh, okay. So I, I just want to make sure you understand, demon. He turned the javelin to gold by touching it. What do you think is going to happen to us? Probably the same thing. Such a little thing. All I have to do is kill it before it can touch me. <laughs> All right. Well, we will pick it up next week with the thrilling combat. Uh, does anybody have any questions or anything? Yeah. How I'm fucked are we? Yeah. I'm, well, well, I may die, right? I may. Uh, is it right? He will have an interesting way to attack, which you will see soon. Um, and that should be uh, should be fun. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm going to die. Amazing. Maybe we can run away. No. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is a dead Jesus. end. And, uh, so that's probably an option, at least. 
I don't think I'm going to be able to run. Uh, I am heading out then. Yep. See you guys. Have a good night. Bye. Okay, guys. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Peace. Right, see you next oh, time. I'm going to put the the map on the Discord uh, in just a sec. Cool. Thank you very much. Uh, goodbye.